everybody, Jay and Mannion here for NPC News Online, and I am here in Gilbert, Arizona, with your three-time, three-time, three-time <laughs> IFB Fitness Olympia champion, Whitney Jones. And we're standing at the Pro Physiques, the gym here in Gilbert. This is our gym, and you're here in town for the Whitney Jones Classic. We had a blast. It was last night. Wrapped everything up, and we just got done doing a fun photo shoot too. Yeah, a photo shoot where we had. A fitness competitor. Yep. A bikini competitor and a wellness. Yeah. Okay. And we had a lot of fun. Are we going to mention who the other two are? Or are we just like nah. it go? Alex Ross is the bikini pro, and then Renee Harshi the wellness pro. Obviously, Whitney was the fitness pro. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. True. Okay. So we are now how many weeks past the Olympia? Four. Four weeks. Yes. So a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you realize the the history that you made? Um, well, there's a lot of things in my book that are historic for this so, one. Throw one out. Let me see if we were on the well, same page. Okay. Regarding coming back yes. with the title, um, I don't know the full statistics. I, I want to say there was three that have done that. Two? So what we're talking about is people that have lost the Olympia title mm -hmm. and won it back. All right. It's, it's a very small group, but there's more than three. Okay. Okay. Uh, and this doesn't include those that like maybe stop. Sure. Like like when Linda Murray had six, she stopped, and yep. then she came back and won two more. Mm -hmm. Okay, doesn't count because she stopped. Okay. People that stopped because of an injury. Sure. Okay, and then they came and they won it back, but they didn't lose it. Right. Because right. they stopped. Exactly. Now, that makes sense. you're the second person to do it in the fitness division. Did you know that? Was it Jen Hendershot? It was Adela lost to Jen Hendershot. Okay. Yes. Yes. And then when Jen Hendershaw won it the second time, Adela was injured, so she wasn't in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I so Adela won it back again, but it, she did. She hadn't lost it. Right. Okay. Yeah, she shouldn't get to compete. Now, the most, the most famous one is Jay Cutler. Oh, yes. I remember that. I was there for that when he came back, too. So. Right. <laughs> and, like, if, if, we go, if we go through the history of all the divisions, okay, so I don't think there's anybody in the in the uh, 212 that has mm -hmm. been able to do Not that. that I know. Okay, um, like I said, men's bodybuilding has only been Jay. Jay. Uh, men's physique, Brandon Hendrickson just did it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, and women's physique, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Women's physique, no. Figure. Looking through the history of that, too. Yep. That when the Aaron Stern and yes, Nicole Wilkins the era, yes. when they were going back and forth, back and forth, mm -hmm. for, it was uh, six years. Oh, because mm -hmm. Nicole has four, Aaron has two. Okay, that was a six year span, so that happened there. Mm -hmm. uh, bikini, it has not happened because everybody that has won, um, it's been consecutive until. Yep. Right. Okay. Like we know, Ashley Cult lost her. Uh, she did lose the title, but she has not won a back. Right. Okay. Um, what else? What other division? Classic physique mm -hmm. is pretty much just straight on. Yep. Um, wheelchair is straight on. And of course, we just had wellness. And I think that pretty much covers... Oh, yeah. women's bodybuilding. Let me... And we talk about that. Yes. So there's been... Um, yeah, nobody in women's bodybuilding has done it either. Mm -hmm. So I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, I know you're in a just very small... A in a very yep. small segment. Yeah, which is kind of cool. I like it that way. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I mean, the only person that has more than you, ironically, is would, would be Adela has more Olympics. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what do you think? Can you reach eight? Hey, if the body holds up, you never know. But the thing is, the body breaks down and it doesn't stop me. So <laughs> I mean, I could be 80 years old stepping on that stage and coming up with some like wheelchair or i don't know maybe it's a walker that use it as so a can you just tell everybody right now that you're standing here with a broken leg <laughs> yes i guess secrets out <laughs> yes <laughs> unfortunately i mean it's that she competed on the olympia stage on yes it did. i thought it was my knee because i had an injury the week of just the total mishap um always kept it under wrap because i don't like to give it power or energy and i got home it wasn't my knee I was worried it might have been the ACL, but it was on my good leg. So I was like, no, but I actually fractured my leg. So, uh, yeah, not fun, but. And you can see the walking cast that she doesn't yes. have. <laughs> you can't see and it. And hasn't had. Nope, still. I'm a bad patient. But the problem was, 
I was so relieved it wasn't the ACL that I told my ortho surgeon, I'm like, oh, it's just a broken leg. Okay, I'm good. And he said, well, here's your crutches and your boot. And I was like, I'm too busy. I've got so much going on. I don't have time for that. I've got to travel. And he's like, you are ridiculous. I'm like, you should know that by now. And I was like, peace, I'm out. So mind you, yesterday at, the, at her contest, she was wearing heels all day. <laughs> some, some of my heels actually make it a little easier to walk. However, at finals, I will say, it, those were not the right choice. So I had to kick them off, and then when I was on stage, I put them on. But, yes. But, you know, I don't know. I, I just have a little more swag these days. It's going to heal. Broken bones, I've had enough of them. They heal. They're fine. All right. So, the next milestone in fitness is four. Yes. Okay. Susie Perry, Oxonic Machine. Uh-huh. All right, are we gonna go for four? Yeah, yep. Are you gonna try to break four? Yeah, why not? Because after that, Adela is the next, the next month. That's the next, yep, keep going. All right, so you have three, okay? Mm -hmm. They each had four. So what about, you basically have, from now till the Olympia, 13 months. Yeah, it's a we long have the, time. Because the Olympia, if you hadn't heard, it's gonna be the, in 2022, the weekend before um, Christmas, as it was in 2020. Yep. And ironically, the NPC Nationals two weeks before that. So the first week of December is NPC Nationals in 2020. 2022, excuse me. Mm -hmm. then, then there's a week in between, and then it'll be the Olympia. Yeah. yeah. So this is the longest stretch because there was only a 10 month span between last year's Olympia. This, right. I feel bad for a lot of the Olympia champions didn't get a full year. I know, because that was kind of rough. Yeah. But. Again, we were happy to have it last year, so you had to be grateful for that. Right. It was back on this year. You roll with it. Right. So in those 13 months, is there a shot that you're going to jump into another contest? Or are you just going to focus? Nope. Just Olympia. That's, that's it for me. Nope. That's my goal. I have plenty of time. I like to utilize the off-season to really bring, level up, get my skills, like, you know me, I kind of do some cattywampus crazy, unconventional stuff. So once this heals, I haven't been doing anything fitness related yet. So I'm getting antsy, but I already have the ideas. <laughs> I always, after every Olympia, the next day, I make my list of what I want to improve physique wise, skill wise, mentally, what I want to focus on. So I have my list. I have my list. I have my goals, my quarterly goals, my yearly goals. So I know what I want to bring already. Good. Yep. Good. Yeah. Now, listen, I'm going to change subjects real quick. You have another uh, pro physiques athlete that made history this year. Mm hmm Sydney Gillard. Yep. Broke the record. Pretty amazing. Yes. She she broke, first she broke Devonna's consecutive record. Uh-huh. Devonna Medina's. Yep. And now she broke Nicole Wilkins' record of four. Mm -hmm. But she's five consecutive. Oh, yeah. All right. So having two athletes from the same gym, same trainer, is pretty rare. It is. It's a lot of fun, though. I'll be honest, because the fun thing is, Sid flies in, so for any of the big contests that she's done with Arnold or Olympia, now it's just the Olympia, she flies in for eight weeks, trains every day here, so it helps kind of bring that energy and vibe. She is a diehard, hardworking athlete. I mean, she's inspirational, motivational to watch, having her in here every day. She says the same thing, watching you train, and she sees me come in tired and just go in and do two hours of routine practice, it's constant motivation, constant push, and I love it. So I don't yeah. think you're gonna stop her anytime soon. Right. Just saying. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put you on the spot. All right. <laughs> I'm game for whatever. I don't know okay. where we're going, but all right. All right, so this, this is for you and for Sid. Okay. Okay? A 2021 Road to the Olympia filming at the NBC Photo Gym. Oh, fun. Wait, you said 2021. Oh, 2022. Okay. Me. Okay. See, look, See, I'm listening. Yes, this is 2021. Yes. So for 2022, to have them both in Pittsburgh, same day. Okay. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. I'm game. What do you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. So do you think Sid's in for it? A hundred percent. So you're speaking for her? I am. <laughs> Sid, you're in. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I threw you in. Let's do this. She's always down for it. I can't imagine she'd say no. There'd be no reason. She'd be in. 
Yeah, I'm thinking sometime late October, beginning right. of November. Yeah. Some, somewhere, you know, within that, that last eight weeks. Okay. Or eight, whatever. That w- can we do a jump contest again? Because we were supposed to have our jump challenge at the show last night. I was willing to do it on one leg. Boom. The jump, the jump challenge is, <laughs> is me, Whitney, and Alex. It is. And at this point... We've, we've determined that Alex is up. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. She's just, been trying. She's been trying. We love you, Alex. Okay. But when you get in that frog position, you're, with your height, you're already yeah. behind the eight ball. We've told you this how many times. It's making it difficult. For sure, girl. Yeah. Is that your butler belt? Yeah. You know, where where's our butler with our food? Where, yeah, where is Damien? <laughs> Tra- <laughs> <laughs> he better be wearing a nice little suit. <laughs> yes, right? Ding, ding. So yes, we were supposed to do the jump challenge because Whitney is mad that an old guy like me yeah, can get air. He can. It's ridiculous. And I'm like, you. And she pra- she accuses me of practicing, and Debbie, who's holding the, the phone right now, <laughs> will tell you I don't. I okay. Let me just tell you though. We did a jump challenge at was it for Pittsburgh Pro? We were there. Yes. And he said, "Oh, let's do a jump challenge." I'm in. Duh. So we do it. And I beat you fair and square. Completely. He went home, was so unhappy with it, reviewed the videos all night, <laughs> came back the next day and said, I want a rematch. He had his shoes, different shoes on, <laughs> different pants. It was still on. I still think I'd beat you. It was more competitive. You definitely increased your vertical. Yes. I bet you beat. And I've been training. Just it wasn't much, which is crazy. This is what I do for a living. This is my division. I need to have. And listen, eyes. she and Alex start warming up, and I'm just standing there. She's like, "Are you gonna yeah. warm up?" I go, "I'm ready." The stretch, like literally, like this is like five minutes. It was right because I don't want yeah. her to get hurt. Well, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Not like you're prone to it. Never, ever, ever. Yeah. So I think next time what we'll do is we'll just have Alex. Hold the, hold the phone. Yeah, she can So she can film it. it. Yeah. And we'll have Debbie be the judge because, you know, she's not going to be partial to me, whatever. For sure. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Mm-hmm. So we'll make it all fair. So at least we'll still include Alex. Sure. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Sound good? Anytime. Anytime. You you see it here. All right. Okay. So wait, I'm just going to throw it aside. Sid, if you want to join us. Yeah. You could. I think she's always down for a challenge. Let's see. Yeah, I think she will. Mm-hmm. Right. It's gonna... on. We're going to leave that there and going to wait for Damien the butler to show up. Yes. <laughs> Bring us some Evian water and spritz us or something. We've had a hard day at the photo shoot. Yes. <laughs> nice little ghost town out here. It, it was actually. Yes. yes some uh, ridiculousness that I'm sure you'll see because you like to post the ridiculous shenanigans. <laughs> always. That's with always. me. It's always shenanigans. Let's be real. Yes. <laughs> All right. Is there anybody else that you want to say anything to or shout out to? I mean, gosh, for, after this weekend, um, everyone who helped make the Whitney Jones Classic a huge success, I can't thank everyone enough, honestly. I feel like I'm just on repeat, but genuinely, it was an amazing show. Tons of athletes loving the support from the Arizona community and so many people who flew in from out of state. Um, you know, just having different shows here. And Gary Udit is our chairperson that oversees it. He's been incredible to work with, guiding me as a promoter. And every year it's just trying to bring in bigger and better things, make the shows more exciting. It's always about the athletes. So I know that we succeeded in that yesterday. It was so fun to have you guys here and all the athletes get their photographs. So it was just an amazing, amazing event. So everyone at Pro Physiques, my entire staff, everyone that was involved, um, from the judging panel, Bill Sevilla came out. He was so much fun to have. The posing seminar. So I'm just on cloud nine. From yeah, that was a, that weekend. was a very well attended seminar. It was yeah. I mean, to the point where the room was so packed. I'm like, oh man. They had to open the back door just to get some air in. I know, and everyone's just kind of packed like sardines. But it was awesome. Everyone wanted to hear him speak. He's got a wealth of knowledge, so much experience, and. As you can see, everyone in Arizona, there's a huge following. It's yes. huge here. This this sport is growing so fast. Arizona continues each and every year to get bigger and bigger with NPC athletes, pro athletes. So it's fun. It's fun to see everyone coming out. And, of course, having someone like Bill to speak. Yeah. That was priceless. All right. Yeah. Well, J.M. Mannion. Whitney Jones. Signing off for NPCNewsOnline.com.
my finger got